I just made my own image generator using the new AI model by ChatGPT. And I took this image and I in painted in and made myself a little more buff and also changed the text all using the OpenAI's new image model that everybody's going crazy over. And it's all done via API. So you could actually now take the image generator so you don't have to go into ChatGPT to create thumbnails and change images. You can now actually build your own website. Here it is. So I used it, made my own site. It's now the limit, take the API and make websites with it, applications, put it in all of your projects, the hottest, newest image generator by ChatGPT. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to implement it using Cursor in five minutes. Let's jump right into it. So I'm gonna open up Cursor. I'm not gonna waste any time here. We're gonna open up a folder I just created on my desktop called New Image API. We're gonna then tell Cursor, I want to make a website that uses the new OpenAI API to create amazing images using this model. If you guys go to the documentation, here it is right here. We have example request and it's using the GPT image. You just copy that. We're gonna do Python. Let's go back to cursor. Here is my API key. So for all of you out there, you just go to platform.openai.com, <clears throat> create a new key. So this is image new. We're gonna copy that, copy the key real quick, and we are done. That's it. So super simple. And now it's going to basically create the website. It's gonna give us access to the API and we're gonna be able to play around with it and see what type of magic we can create. So a lot of people are losing it because now you can no longer have to go to ChatGPT to create these stunning images. You're gonna be able to integrate it directly into your website, into your application, into whatever the heck you're doing. And we're gonna give it a play. And now all the apps, all the websites are gonna have access to this new model, which we know is out of this, out of this world because it is really a high quality model that definitely changes the whole game. So the apps are gonna get better, the websites are gonna get much better. It's gonna install all the dependencies, it's probably gonna set up a new project with Tailwind, and then it's going to get it ready for us so we could actually try it. All right, let's give this a spin. So now we have it, let's give it a prompt. I wanna make a thumbnail. On the left side, show the open AI logo, and on the right side, show a collage of different AI created images make each image very different people's faces pets nature animation anything else you can come up with and then have a big yellow arrow pointing to the right side with huge text that says finally at the top and let's see how good this image is going to be using the new open ai 4.0 image generator for our project using our own api and then i'll tell you how much it costs <laughs> because I'm sure it's going to be expensive as hell. But it doesn't matter because this thing can really deliver some incredible results. Bang! Look at that. So there's obviously needs to be a little more finesse, but there it is. It is definitely using the new OpenAI Image 4.0 because I could tell by the text and also I could tell by these images. They're super high quality. And just like that, guys, you just saw me build from scratch using Cursor. You could do it with Lovable. You could do it with any of the other IDEs where you could now take the API. Okay, so next I wanna add these other features. So check this out. So we have edit images where we could actually edit them. And then there's a new feature right here, edit an image using a mask in paint. So we have both of those too. So we can actually mask stuff out. So let's start with this one. So I want to use this one. I want you now to create a second page to test the new in paint feature. Here is the code. Let's do that. And then I also want to, okay, we're gonna just give it all the info it needs. And then last thing we could put the sizes. All right, perfect. So now we're gonna create a new page that's gonna have this new image mask editor inside so we could test that out. I'm actually excited for this because this isn't inside ChatGPT. I don't think actually. Okay, let's give this a shot. So source image, let's upload an image. So let's just take this one, our image that we created, and now it says select mask. Huh, I wanna be able to actually do the mask. 
Can you create a modal where I could actually select a brush size and then be able to actually paint with the cursor a mask that I want to then be saved and used for this mask feature in the API? Okay, so we need to give it a little more context. I thought I would be able to figure it out based off of the API, but I think we need to give it more detail. Let's give it a shot. So we're gonna upload an image. And then we're going to, uh, let's see what's the best image to use. Let's go actually here. Let's take this one. This is perfect. So now we have our image selected. We're gonna click right here. It says paint mask and look at that. Now it has the paint feature. We're gonna, we can pick different brush sizes. So now let's go in and select Marcin AI logo and we're just gonna remove it. Actually, yeah. Change this to say no code dev, generate new image. So right now we are using the in paint feature that is part of the new API that has been launched. Just imagine the possibility of this. I was able to build this in five minutes just to test it, but now you can actually implement this into any of your projects. So it is pretty, pretty incredible that we're now gonna have such a high quality image generator, the best out there, there's no question. What OpenAI did with this Foral model is, is crazy. And the fact that you'll be able to have it in all our apps now is going to be really nice. Obviously the costs are up there, to compare with the others, it is much more expensive. There it is. There is our new image. And it made me a little more jacked, which actually I can't be hating on, but you could see it took the image, it took the code, and it did exactly what we wanted it to do. So the feature works, everything works. Hope you guys enjoyed that. This was a quick one. I wanted to just show you the power of it. I did it all in cursor, use the API, put the key in, and then um, if you guys want to definitely join a fun community of builders, creators, hit all the links below and I'll see you guys in the next video. And of course, let me know what you want me to do next below. Peace.